Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the On Cloud Boom Echo 3. Again, we are just a few days away from the official launch date. I believe they are being officially released in the UK on the 6th of July. A little over a month ago, I got these shoes, tried them on for the first time, and I made a video covering all the characteristics of the Cloud Boom Echo 3 and my first impressions after my very first workout in those. So today's video is a bit of a follow-up just to tell you a bit more about how I've been getting on with these shoes, what I've been using them for. It's a bit more of a personal review now that I've been using them for a little over a month. Now let me reiterate what I said in the previous video. These shoes were not gifted to me. This is not sponsored by own. They do not know that I exist, okay? The only reason I was able to get a pair before the official release date is because I went to the Night of the 10 KPBs last month in London. This is part of On Track Night events. So the brand was there and the shoes were there. They had limited stock available. You could buy them at the event, full price. And Ben and I both decided to get a pair. And since then, I've used them quite a few times. I have actually clocked a little over 100 kilometers in those and I've had to hold myself back from wearing them because I just want to wear them all the time but at the same time, I don't want to use them too much in training. I want to save them for races because they're not cheap. I'm gonna quickly go over the main characteristics of the Cloud Boom Echo 3 but for the full lowdown with all the features and the specs I would invite you to watch the previous video where I covered absolutely everything. So the Cloud Boom Echo 3 is a road racing shoe. It is presented by On as a shoe that you'd wear for any race distance from the 10k all the way to the marathon. We have about 10 millimeter drop, so it's a shoe that would be better suited for heel strikers. It has p back foam, a full length carbon plate. The shoe is very stiff. It has a rocker shape, which is very common in On shoes. And it features CloudTech technology, which is on cushioning system, helping to absorb the impact and prevent injuries. And now let's move on to how I've been getting on with these shoes and what I've been using them for. So I did a variety of sessions so far, both on track and on tarmac. I'll give you a few examples. For instance, three times eight minutes at threshold pace, um, eight times three minutes at roughly around my 5k pace, with the club track sessions, it was mostly shorter stuff, for instance, nine times two minutes faster than 5k pace, or eight times two and a half minutes, and then we usually finish up the session with a couple 200 meters all out sprint. I also raced a 5k in these shoes. I'll come back to that later, but let me just say, even though they might be specifically designed for longer race distances, I don't think they should be ruled out for 5k races. More recently, I also did a long run workout in these shoes that was a half marathon distance total, including a solid 8k block, roughly around 4 minutes 30 per k, so not too far off my half marathon race pace. And I also wore these shoes last weekend for just a very normal long run that was 16 and a half k mostly steady pace, I didn't need carbon plated shoes for it but it was one of those runs where I just needed to wear my most comfortable shoes in order to just get through this run. To me the strongest point of these shoes you will have gathered is the comfort. I've not had a huge amount of carbon plated shoes but out of the ones I've tried these ones are the comfiest by far and Ben who's a much more experienced runner than me, who's had so many more carbon plate issues than me, also said the same. He was really impressed with how comfortable he felt in them from the second he just put them on. Also related to comfort, the upper of this shoe, which is made in this very lightweight microfiber material, is super breathable and I find it a lot more accommodating, especially in the heat, if your feet tend to swell a little bit, which has been my case with the recent heat wave we've had in the UK, which is why I think I've been wanting to wear these shoes a lot lately. I also want to mention one thing that Ben said about these shoes. I don't have this issue, but he 
spends a lot of time before each and every run fiddling with the laces, trying to get them to the right amount of tightness, you know, tight enough but not too tight, especially with his alpha flies and vapor flies before a session. But with the Cloud Bomeco 3, he's not had that issue so far. He just puts the shoes on, ties the laces, and boom, ready to go. A great thing about these shoes is that they're really versatile. I've done a whole range of different workouts with those different distances, different pace ranges, even took them to the track. The first time I took them to the track, I was a bit curious. I didn't know how that would go, if they were going to be responsive enough, because I knew that I was going to run at my, well, sub 5k race pace, but they felt amazing. And honestly, the session couldn't have gone any better. I felt like these shoes were super, super responsive, even at the faster end of my pace range, which is why I decided to race a 5k in these shoes. This was my latest 5k race at Battersea Park. I ran a 1903, which is my second ever fastest 5k time. So I've done some very short and fast paced stuff with these shoes. And on the other hand of the spectrum, I've also done some longer workouts uh, closer to my half marathon race pace. I really think these shoes are well suited for all distances from the 5k to the half marathon and above. I have a 10k race coming up. I am definitely racing in the Cloud Boom Echo 3 and then I am 95% sure that I'll be using them for half marathon races later this year. Now, believe it or not, we've not had much rain in the UK lately, so I can't really say that I've been testing them out extensively in the rain, but I did run on some wet roads um, once, so I had a bit of an idea of how they would perform. You can see the outsole here. It's got pretty good grip and um, if it was a rainy race, I'd pick these over the Alpha Fly for instance. I do not feel stable at all in the Alpha Fly when it's raining. And talking about the outsole, it does still look brand new. I mean, I'd be a little upset if after 110, 115 kilometers, that already shows signs of wear, but I have a feeling that these shoes will be fairly durable, hopefully. <laughs> I'm not paid to say this, but these shoes are quite mind-blowing. They really are something. And if we really want to be picky and find something to criticize, maybe the weight, because they're not the lightest out there. They're slightly heavier than the Alpha Fly, slightly heavier than the A6 Meta Speed Sky, but at the same time, I'd rather have a pair of racing shoe that is a little heavier and more comfortable, personally. And the last thing we need to touch on is the price. They're gonna retail at £260 in the UK. I'm not gonna sit here and say that these shoes are affordable. Obviously, £260. It's an investment. Objectively, it is expensive. Now, if you compare them to, for instance, the Alpha Fly 2, which retail, I believe, at £280, well, you know, they're slightly cheaper. But yes it's still an investment. Probably won't be discounted anytime soon, but the second they go on sale, I'm gonna buy another pair because for me personally, they tick all the boxes and yeah, I just love them so much. There we go guys, that's it for my update. I really wanted to make a follow-up video after wearing the Cloud Boom Echo 3 for a little while to share a bit more about my experience with these shoes. Uh, I hope it was helpful in case you are considering buying them we're just a few days away from the launch now. There's been a lot of interest about these shoes. Um, I'm happy to answer any other questions you may have in the comments. And once they go live, I'll add all the links in the description if you want to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.